And welcome back. John Miller with Birch Point Health and Rehabilitation is here now. John, thanks for joining us here in studio. How are you? Good, thank you. Yeah, so just here. let's start with this. Tell people a little about what exactly Birch Point is. Well, Birch Point is a 120 bed uh, licensed skilled nursing facility with short term rehab. Um, we actually have three distinct units at Birch Point. We have a secured uh, locked dementia unit that handles dementia and uh, people with Alzheimer's diagnosis. And there is, it's, we do a lot of specialized training on that unit and it's a secure, comfortable, quiet environment for the residents. Mm -hmm. And then I have a 50 bed long-term care as most people know what long-term care is. Um, I don't think that we're the traditional long-term care that most people think of. <laughs> yeah. um, I think people have in their mind, you know, you always hear about long-term care facilities. Well, yeah. our facility was built in 2017. Mm -hmm. so very new. Yeah. Very, it's very modern uh -huh. and open and we have the skylights and uh. high ceilings and kind of reminds you of a, a, a union at a college. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I could see that. I though. mean that yeah. would be a lot more comfortable than yes. what you might be picturing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the other one is more of a rehab, rehabilitation unit? Short term rehab. Okay. So we have physical therapy, occupational therapy and speech therapy. Mm. Wow. Um, a lot of people that transition from the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, if you're still needing a little extra TLC before you go home uh, so that you can be successful at home, you come in and our therapists evaluate you and you know they set up a specialized plan of care yeah. and follow that plan and hopefully we can make you yeah. very successful. When yeah. You, yeah, I know that's a really important step for a lot of people. I, you know, my grandma went through that and it was just really necessary mm -hmm. to, to just learn how to take care of those last few details before you go back home yeah. on your own. Yeah. So now let's say there's people um, out there that are maybe wondering, like, how do they qualify to receive the services that you all provide? How does that process work? Well, it's kind of different for long term care than short term rehab. So our long term care, sometimes people have long term care policies. And depending upon the policy, it may kick in at certain days, you know, mm. day one or day 100. So, we, you know, that's something that we can discuss. Okay. We do take private pay and Medicaid. So when people spend down their resources and they transition to Medicaid, we help with mm. that process. We help them transition and do the paperwork and get approved for Medicaid. And, you know, we keep them, they're our family, so we keep them for life. Yeah. With your short-term rehab, um, Medicare Part A kicks in. Okay and pays for up to 100 days. So if you've had a three midnight qualifying stay at a hospital, mm -hmm. then you could qualify to come and get some rehab, get a little additional. Most of the discharge planners at the hospital will explain that to you and uh, we, we deal closely with them mm -hmm. also. Yeah. So It's a good, great service that you can actually help mm -hmm. people walk through that. And we do managed care also oh, with okay. all your managed care contracts they they work the same way are very similar to how Medi Medicare works so. okay great so if someone's looking for one of these types of facilities what would you tell them in order to find you know the fit for them I, well I mean that's a good question I always I love it when people come in mm -hmm. I, I love people to come in I always invite people in for a tour you need to feel you know comfortable with the environment mm -hmm. uh, take a look around you know look at the residents to see talk to the residents that live there mm -hmm. the ones that that are there permanently, you can kind of get a feel for just them and ask them how they like it. Mm -hmm. uh, is it a comfortable environment for your loved one? Mm -hmm. Bring them with you when mm -hmm. you tour, that's yeah. always nice. Look at the activities, if there's certain things that yeah. you're interested in, in doing. Sometimes you're gonna, you're gonna be surprised when you come in. Yeah. Some people come in and they're like, whoa, I was expecting people to just be yeah. sitting around, you know, <laughs> and it's like, Absolutely. Well, that's a good and point. You yeah. need to go actually <laughs> to visit the yes. facilities. Yes. 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 If people want more, infor more information, John, how can they get that? I love it when people just drop by. Okay. Uh, no, no need to make an appointment. You just drop on in. Okay. Uh, we're located a little bit down from Cox Hospital okay. at the intersection of Jefferson Avenue and Primrose. Right. And I think uh, we have your website in as well. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you so John, much John, thank for you being for being here. here. We yeah, yeah. Thank you.